UKIP member of the Welsh Assembly, uh, has become the party's interim leader. Uh, he's taking over from uh, Freddie Thatcher, who was suspended after less than four months uh, in the role following allegations of bullying and harassment. And uh, Mr. Hammond, uh, Mr. Hamilton, uh, rather, joins me now uh, from from uh, Bristol. Uh, thank you very much indeed uh, uh, for being with us. I mean, Gerard Batten, Paul Watchhope, Richard Brain, Patricia Mountain, Freddie Vatcher, uh, and now Neil Hamilton. What's going on? Well, it's obviously an apostolic succession, isn't it? But uh, uh, I don't think the world at large is terribly interested in the internal bickerings of UKIP, but they should be interested in what UKIP has got to say on why the country is being turned into an open prison, for example, over the coronavirus regulations, why nothing's being done to solve the immigration asylum crisis, um, why nothing was done to counter Black Lives Matter's culture war to rewrite our history and so many other things. And that's what I hope that I'll be able to do in the course of my term as interim leader. But, I mean, the, the problem you've got is uh, Brexit was the big issue. The country's voted for Brexit. So I imagine a lot of people think there's no point in having a UKIP anymore. Well, that has certainly been true, I think. Uh, obviously, a party that was founded initially as a single-issue party to get us out of the EU, having achieved that objective, which wouldn't have been achieved without UKIP, by the way, uh, then uh, I, I suppose a lot of people will think our job has been done. But of course, UKIP stands for a lot more than that. Uh, obviously, Brexit was part of our campaign in the Welsh Assembly elections four years ago, but uh, we're going to be fighting the next election on turning the tide of devolution, which is wrenching our country apart. We see in the debates over the Internal Market Bill in the House of Commons uh, this week, where the devolved governments are are trying to carve out their own furrow in a way which might threaten the internal market in the United Kingdom. So the integration of the UK is a, going to be a massive political issue in future years, and UK will be at the forefront of that debate. We're the only party that really wants to introduce significant controls on immigration and asylum. And the Tories have added 3 million people to our population in the last 10 years since they've been in charge right. through immigration alone. And uh, we see from the armada of small boats coming across the channel and landing right. on our beaches that nothing is being done to stop bogus asylum seekers. So UKIP speaks up on that issue as well and much else besides. Are, are you a racist party? No, of course we're not a racist party. Well, you uh, talk UKIP, a lot about immigration, uh, the only you criticise Black Lives Matter. Doesn't that, doesn't that uh, yeah. suggest to some people you might be racist? Well, over 75% of the people of this country, in opinion poll after opinion poll, want to see stricter controls of migration. It's not about race, it's about space, actually. If you look at London and the South East in particular, yeah. where the bulk of this mass immigration has uh, settled, yeah. It's causing massive social problems, uh, not just in schools and hospitals, yeah. but on development, the green belt and so on and so forth. Uh, and this, this is creating massive logistical problems in this country. And it can't go on. We're adding a city the size of Cardiff to our population every single year. That's why we've got a housing crisis. Uh, Tom. Fine. I've so, got I've got I've got to ask you, uh, what does the formidable Mrs. Hamilton think of the beard? Oh, <laughs> well, she strokes it. Uh, and and cuts it for me. So uh, I, I grew it out of laziness, actually, at the beginning of lockdown. But then all the ladies started saying that they liked me better if they could see less of my face that's underneath it. So I've kept it. Neil Hamilton, interim leader of UKIP. Thank you uh, very much indeed uh, for joining us.